Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing some Erlang in the solo lane who just got reworked so that he's bad now. Are you guys hyped for bad Erlang? That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, Iris is making Erlang like tankier, but not though. Um, I don't know. I don't really understand exactly why they're doing this to him. I guess Erlang has been pretty strong for a while, but like nerf his damage forehead, right? Maybe? I feel like Erlang's kit felt pretty cool before. So what they did, they took the knockup off the three. His three can now scale in terms of shield regens into Uller, huh? His one now has damage reduction on it. So when you auto people, baby stun. Oh my God, I got so bopped. We took like 50 damage. Um, yeah, so we lose a knockup. We gain a little bit of shield health scaling, which is not at all like an even trade. But to help make up for it, we actually have some damage reduction on our uh, on our thingy now. Oh, he missed. But dude. Dude. What? <laughs> Why didn't he jump? <laughs> I wasn't going to horrific originally because he had jump, so it was just going to waste horrific. And then he swapped out of his thing. So I was like, I guess I'll just bop this man real quick. I guess we'll just get a... Uh, I was going to say first blood, but somebody else got a frag too. Who you got a frag? Yeah, I think hypothetically right now, we got two frags. My God. Agni's still level one somehow. Oh, that's right. Agni was like... I think Agni was AFK level one, so I think he missed out on buff XP and got kind of clapped for it. Um... Yeah, I think hypothetically we can max the one right now. It does less damage than it used to, but the damage reduction is really good. Ramps up reasonably fast, and there's lifesteal on it that ramps up really fast. So that's like maybe something we could do. Realistically, the three is like, stat-wise, the three is similarly good as before. So I think it still makes sense to just level the three almost always. But it's like maybe a play now. Leveling the one before was just mostly pretty stupid. What you doing here, Uller? What you doing here, bud? Getting a little bopped, yeah. Losing a little bit of like half your health bar for no good reason. Like to see that. I'm kind of sad, man. I was sort of hoping we'd go against the Kleena because I want to go to kind of a cheesy build and I wanted to see if it was strong enough to beat a Kleena. Because Kleena's kind of nasty in the soul lane right now. And also not here right now. So we just bop this man. Bop this man, take a blue buff. Maybe get farmed in a sec because I have no health pots and he has 50. I actually have to Z, man. He's gonna rotate. He's just gonna go for Cheeky Steel. Oh, he almost got Cheeky Steel, too. I forgot he had Blue Stone. He almost stole it with the Blue Stone. That would have been so bad. I saved my two, man. I saved my two for the clear. And uh, he almost joined it because we saved the two. Would have been rough. All right, give me the blue. Damn, we are farming right now. This man's still level three. About to be like level five and a half. So yeah, we're gonna go greedy Frostbound build. I started building Frostbound. Partially, I wanna try out Frostbound fuels now. Before Erling had so much CC, going Frostbound was pretty stupid. Uh, going Frostbound on most gods is pretty stupid, not gonna lie, especially <laughs> coincidentally, a lot of the gods that feel like Frostbound would be good on already have stuff in their kit where Frostbound becomes kind of irrelevant, like Osiris. It's like, oh, you can go Frostbound Osiris, but you already are Frostbound Osiris just by existing though. I think we juke the axe. <laughs> then we walk away. <laughs> All right. Cleo ult, right? I'm pretty sure we got both. And we just kind of walk on back to lane. I think we'll take that. I don't know why I popped this. Nice. Not bad, man. We get ganked by, I'm assuming, Fed Kleena. Yeah, by Fed Kleena. It doesn't really matter. We just kind of walk on out. Juke's OP. Don't get stunned. Might have gotten uh, saved by not getting stunned there. I think if she just, like, freely kit dumped on my face while I was stunned and just landed all her ult damage, I actually might have died there. Would have been close, though, I think. Yeah, in general, Erlang at the moment, kind of bad, I think. I feel like this is a pretty common opinion on him. The rework just nerfs him. Um, and Erlang, I think outside of the jungle, I would say wasn't very good to begin with. It's pretty rare that you're seeing Erlang solo be meta or Erlang support be meta at all. It's pretty much just he's a strong jungler. He's very good in the early game for just kind of like building an early lead. And that's mostly it, right? He's just got a lot of CC. He's annoying um, and he's hard to play against. So he loses a lot of that value now. Like his three was straight up his best CC his best engagement, and now that it doesn't knock up, he's gonna very much change to this, like, super slow, just kind of, like, in your face, do some damage and be annoying, like, solo, kind of like Nike, but I think he's gonna just sort of be bad Nike, even though, honestly, I think, <laughs> I think Nike's already sort of bad Nike, though, if we're being real. That's okay, I honestly, I do kind of welcome the change, though. 
I think he feels kind of bad compared to how he did before. Um, but I actually do kind of like the kit change just to spice things up personally. Because I'm not a big Erlang player, so I don't care that much. I'm not all sad about it. We farming this man? We farming? I don't even know where he is. Did he just do a blue buff? Maybe he just did a blue. So there's been a big gap in the vids, boys. Uh, I was actually recording a little bit the other day, but if you guys are wondering why, if you don't know why, I've definitely gotten some comments about it. Servers have been atrocious. That, that, it, servers have been atrocious. It got fixed in this patch, so I think we'll get back to recording pretty regularly at the moment. But they were just so bad that I just, I didn't want to record the game. I didn't want to play the game. Um, yeah, if you guys dealt with it, you dealt with it. If you didn't, you didn't. It seems like some people somehow haven't dealt with it. I don't really know how. Um, <laughs> I've like seen so many of the big smite content creators deal with it. So I don't know how people are like slipping through the cracks in this, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's like, maybe people like somehow don't notice the obvious shit. I'm assuming it's actually like somewhat client side or, or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, that seems to have been fixed up. Ajax or was it Ajax? I don't know. Somebody in high made a big post about it. I think like a day or two after the patch. Um, talking about what they did in this patch to try and, to try and, like, fix it. Because their servers were apparently getting attacked in a way they hadn't before, and they weren't remotely ready, and they couldn't really fix it without putting in, like, a full-on update. Because, because <laughs> Hi-Rez no longer just does big updates whenever things go terribly wrong. Which I think is dumb as hell, but I will leave it be, okay? I think it's absurdly dumb, but that happened, like, two or three years ago, and I thought it was dumb then, so we don't need to bring back old rants. And I want to kill this guy, but he's just being a long-range character that is just auto-losing lane. Like, there's not much we gotta do. I can zone him and be kind of cringe, but it's not really fun. So, I think we're about to start running mid a lot. And not really farming, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll just clap cheeks instead. But they're all dead over here, so <laughs> there's no cheeks to clap, goddammit. I just want to murder, man, please. Give me the buffs. Look at that clean double buff. Give me yours too. Oh, we almost got it. That would have been so clean. It would have been disgusting. I think we'll level the one next. The two does okay damage, but I think we'll mess with getting this one online early. We'll be tanky with the three leveled. We'll be tankier with the one leveled. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hit him with the quick BM. That was unnecessary, uncalled for BM too. I keep, dude, out of habit, I keep using turtle form when there's no point. I don't care if I eat damage there. We might as well just hit him with a mink. I will say with the change to Turtle, Turtle does have a little bit more like uh, shield scaling and stuff now, which is rewarding for building Erlang tank. But I think Mink is going to feel a lot better just because Turtle is inherently worth. Worth? <laughs> I got Mike Tyson there for a second. Um, <laughs> is inherently worse now than it used to be. So that is kind of a bright side as they nerfed his Turtle so hard that people are going to actually start using the Mink form a bit. Which really, I think, like, I don't know. I brought this up forever ago and they took off haste on Mink. I think it'd be cool if they did sort of an Atalantis effect to Mink so that Mink is basically able to move more while auto-attacking, but it isn't quite haste, which it used to be, like, a few years ago. Um, I thought, like, obviously haste seemed a little strong. They took it off. Haste is just a super strong stat in general. But doing, like, that Atalantis stomp buff, man, Hyrus needs to do that a lot more. It's a really cool thing that is on one item that is, like, a stat stick item, and it's, it's just not really interesting the way that they put it in. Uh, does the guy just die? Get sneaky. Hang on. Hey, he did. No, come on. <laughs> that didn't taunt, man. <laughs> he was still beads. That's so annoying. Dude, towers are kind of bopping at the moment. You guys been noticing that? Given we have literally no physical defense. Towers have been absolutely clapping lately. I can't remember if they actually buffed tier one towers. I think they did. I could be losing it. I think they did, and oh my god, I have been feeling it. But maybe I'm just out of my mind. I know they did some sort of tower buff. I can't remember if it's the tier ones or not. Which I think is lame. Like, like do towers not hit hard enough? You already just can't dive at all early game. Like, you already get so absurdly punished. <laughs> do we really? Do we really need to be buffing instead of nerfing towers? Like, late game, I think we can all agree, hey, maybe it's not the most fun that the support tanked Phoenix for 30 seconds and it was okay, right? I think we can probably agree on that. That's not the best of times. But when it's like, hey, I want to dive for literally two seconds and just not get insta-murdered by tower and just straight up get entirely tower diffed while the other person does 50 damage, that's not as fun, right? Just losing to, to PvE and not to PvP. 
I wish I had ult right now. I want to bop this man. No, come here. Come here. I didn't learn my lesson. I'm going to dive. I'm not going to dive. I learned my lesson. We do have an entire Berserker. Okay. Kind of feeling it, boys. Kind of feeling it more than I should. All right, he ran. <laughs> I don't think we ever die here right now, so I think I'm kind of chilling. We did just kind of bop him 1v2. Unfortunate, dude. I really wanted more than that. Uller beads, right? I think he did. Pretty sure I saw him cleanse. Well, then kill him, Agni. What do you mean? What are you afraid of? This girl is... Okay, well, maybe she full healed. Never mind. <laughs> Just that she's 10 HP. She is not 10 HP. That is a... Can you not? Please? Why did he stick around? Stupid so... Wait, she doesn't even have this... What? How did she heal that much? Oh, he died. <laughs> you know what, boys? I think Kalina might be a little strong. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say something crazy. I think... I think Kalina might be a pretty good character. You wouldn't know from seeing Kalina ADC mid-support, jungle, solo, whatever other roles you can possibly imagine in SPL. You wouldn't know from that. I think she's decent. I honestly don't know what they're going to do to nerf her. I'm surprised, uh... In the most recent update, did they nerf her at all? I don't even remember. I think I didn't even look at a lot of the God Balance stuff because they already did so much other stuff. I was just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to keep reading. I'm done. No axing. Okay, we probably lose this one. I'm just greedy. Oh, he missed. He jumps someday. We're going to get mid diff right here. Wait. Wait. Oh, that didn't that didn't root him in. It might not have mattered. We didn't get mid-diffed. Pog. <laughs> Ogni was saying, uh... Oh, wait. He said be careful left. I'm dumb. This isn't left. I guess I'm so used to being on their side of the map, right? This actually makes sense. All right, think about it. So we were fighting at their blue buff. So I'm looking down towards our side of the map. And that makes solo lane left, even though solo lane is right. So we're just so chad. Then I turned around, I turned it right into a left. All right, it adds up. It makes some sense. Oh, I'll keep going. I'll keep going, Punk Duck. Kind of want to yoink this tower real quick. Dude, our boys are popping right now. Ogni's had a tough time. Probably would have helped to not be AFK level 1. But everybody else is actually kind of popping off. <laughs> it's funny. This guy's like such a classic... um. This is some classic Uller right here, where sometimes his axes are really on point, and like the other times he misses by like a 45 degree angle, and I just think it's funny. I can relate to it so much. I don't even mean to make fun of him, like it's genuinely just like how Uller plays all the time. But <laughs> hang on, do we level the ult now? I don't remember. Yeah, the mitigation's kind of nutty now. I think we'll actually level it. They buffed it up by, I think it like doubles, right? I think it went from either 7.5 to 15 or 10 to 15, and now it goes 10 to 20, which is pretty good. I don't remember if they buffed the heal on ult or not, because it looks like a lot, but um, also out of heal, actually, I don't know, out of combat anti heal might matter. I don't know how often it matters right now when I'm just giga chatting these guys. Because we have just been kind of 1v2ing <laughs> Uller and Kleena, <laughs> and Kleena is their carry right now. She is their hyper carry. Hey, we have 2,900 gold. I want to buy a Deathbringer. There is nothing sharper, more brutal. Yeah, you probably thought I wasn't going to full commit to the Deathbringer, huh? You probably thought I was going to troll. No, no, no. We go actual Deathbringer. We go Envenomed. And we get 36% damage reduction. And that's going to actually be obnoxious hell. And then we stack that with Horrific. And these probably stack. I actually don't know for sure. And we get 51% damage mi mitigation or reduction. And oh my god, it's a big brain build. We're cheesing. This wasn't planned. I just kind of realized we could do it, and I had the money for it, so why not? <laughs> like, I don't need magic defense right now. They have a Yamoja. They have a, a um, the hell's his name? Yu Huang. Yu Huang doesn't do damage. Yamoja's a support. Like, easy, easy dubs, right? We can just build physical defense. It'll be fine. We can build phys physical defense and then Venom Deathbringer, and it'll be okay. By the way, Ulur ganked mid. That'll tilt him. That'll tilt him. I do rock. I have been 1v2ing. 
<laughs> Agni's just boosting my ego with his BM. Little does he know I agree. Look at the dog crits, baby. We got some 27s going on. Hell yeah. They doing gold? I think they might be. Yeah, I don't even feel bad that I didn't call missing. Like, why would I ever call him? Like, <laughs> why would Uller ever gank there? That was so random. I don't even feel bad about it, man. And it's actually just like the most absurd time to go for anything. He just happened to be there. You gonna let me kill her? Cause I am, I am kind of feeling it. Okay. Okay. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. It's insane. She's dead though. We are getting a fatty Deathbringer diff at the moment. Oh my, dude, why am I getting, I don't know if I'm actually getting God RNG. It definitely looks like it, but it's also cause the dog can crit. So it's looking a little biased. Like in terms of just seeing crits happen. Wait, do I get a... It's so easy. <laughs> I do rock Agni. Thank you. He just wanted to get that in in advance, didn't he? Um, <laughs> what do we go, man? What do we go? I'm kind of feeling though. I'm just going to build damage right now. I don't seem to die at the moment. We just kind of 1v3'd for like a while right there. So... Erlang nerfed, by the way. He really did get nerfed, but we're actually getting a lot of value right now to current Erlang this game. This is definitely a game so far where because I'm taking long-term fights, one of the big differences in Erlang at the moment is uh, long-term fights are significantly better for him. He gets way less burst value. His burst value kind of sucks compared to what it used to because it used to be like instant two seconds of CC, very annoying, and then basically same if not a little bit more damage than now. Um, like there wasn't really a downside in burst. There was just big upside, but now long-term, if we stack up these autos, not only do we sustain a bit, but we get a bunch of damage reduction and just inherently become tankier as well as obviously our shield is tankier than it used to be, which is kind of nutty when we're going for these like just greedy ass fights. Yeah. Our team is dying. Murder. Murder. Sprint the boy. Taunt the team. What? Clean up. What are you doing? This isn't it. <laughs> okay, I am getting a little bopped. I didn't realize, I don't know how, I did not realize Yu Huang was still like on the map. I kind of thought he died. That's too bad, man. What did, I thought Thana killed him. I'm surprised he didn't get more value out of that. I kind of feel like I tanked basically everybody on their team for that entire duration. So I thought we'd get a little more out of it. That's too bad. At least we killed Kleena, though. We did get a little bit for our trouble. Did he actually do? Oh my god, he did some damage. Okay, we might <laughs> we might need magic defense. <laughs> How did he do this much? Dow cultivation times three? Agni, just run into tower when I owe you. Agni, just run into tower. Just run on in. It'll be okay, I promise. I think I want to, um, I'd like to upgrade relics if we can, but it kind of feels like we need to build a bunch of items to dial us. So I don't know if I get to do that or not. Stone cutting would be good. Stone cutting would be really nice if we can finish it. But honestly, it's starting to feel a little bit dumb that we did <laughs> that I want this, <laughs> that I didn't go shoguns instead. Dude, Uller is out farming me now. How wild is that? This man got so absurdly bullied in and out of lane and it doesn't even matter right now because he's just going off and killing my team. Which I don't even, like, how? I don't even understand. Like, he's not scary. He doesn't really... Okay, Uller. Stop. C come on. Come on. Stop. You don't want it. Just leave it. Right? Just leave me be. Don't make me murder. I'm gonna go get stone cutting. Yep. Yeah, we are gonna need some wards for Fire Giant instead of Kepri doing... Gold? Why do I need to do this? <laughs> it's like he has the most random pathing right now. You, you, you're you going to die. This man's trying to yoink fruit while we're getting farmed. Oh my god, he's so dead. They're going to book it at him. Oh? Dude, did Ogni pop off? I don't even know what just happened. Hang on, we're tanking? 
Dude, where the hell? Where are the boys right now? While I just bait all of them. Okay, we're getting frostbound value. We're getting sprint. Nice. Does she die though? Oh, she did get frostbounded. Come here. Come here. Hang on, we're gonna get, avoid the silence. Dead. Nice. Uh oh, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else tanked that shit. <laughs> oh my boys! Alright, retreat. No throwing. Nice. No throwing. Good stuff, boys. It looked like they weren't even too tempted to throw right there. Dude, green buff kind of nutty at the moment. You guys see that green buff got buffed and then small camps got nerfed over here on the duo side? Um, so I believe the, the change was to make it almost specifically so that like they don't really change the overall farm, but the green buff feels less shitty to do because it had such potato farm before. Um, oh my God, you get so much out of it now, man. It kind of feels like you can just avoid the smalls a lot of the time and just do green. And you just really quickly do green buff on your way to land. All right, let me dip. Let me go get Death's Embrace. We'll be kind of OP off of that. <laughs> this build's so funky, man. I'm really not very tanky at all. We do have 2600 HP, which is okay. If we get the stone cutting prot, we do have like 160 fizz prot, which isn't the worst. We have no magic prot. However, I do lots of damage and I have up to 36% damage reduction without even using horrific. So that's pretty good. If somebody knows that uh, they don't stack, let me know, but I'm pretty sure they do. Because I don't think it's been enough of a common stat yet for high res to worry about it. And now, <laughs> and now you know what? If Invenom Deathbringer Erlang catches on somehow, even though it's kind of troll, then, then maybe they'll change it up and it'll be like the attack speed reduction thing where they're like, you know what? Maybe let's not slow somebody to zero attack speed. Maybe that's a little much. Kill Medusa? Can you... Boys, they want to kill me so bad. They just don't learn, man. Okay, they might have learned. That's a lot of people. Can I have some boys? Okay, we ate like 50 ults. Not really. I think we ate two. Uh-oh. <laughs> he is feeling it, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I do think they're going to clean it up, though. Can you not? Alright, I'm just going to dip. I trust him to handle it. Your boy's going to handle it? Why did they... They didn't finish the fight, and they just have sixed. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's, that is one of the weirdest F6s I have seen in a while. Kalina was up, man. It wasn't over. It wasn't game yet. They were just so not having it that they F6 before the fight was even quite finished. Anyways, there's our little look at Erlang after the rework. I'll try and get another look soon. Uh, matchmaking has not been kind in terms of long games, so I'm not even going to expect that we can get a longer game to uh, to get a better look at him. But so far, I mean, from what I've seen, like he's he's playable. He's not garbage. He definitely got nerfed. However, when we do exactly what we did this game, probably minus in Venom Deathbringer, let's be real. Um, when we're playing just very aggressive, slow paced fights, Erlang gets so much tank value and so much as general damage reduction and team fight value from his new one that I think it can potentially make up for it. It's just generally speaking, Erling was like super reliable before where it's like, hey, I see the absolute shit out of one person and you guys murder them or I murder them myself. And now he basically doesn't get to do that. So he, he kind of transitioned a lot as a character. Um, I think he's playable. I definitely think he's not going to be like a nutty jungler. I think he's going to be maybe an okay solo. We'll, we'll have to maybe okay solo. He still kind of struggles to clear the wave though, which sucks. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.